Hey guys, and welcome to a new video. In this video here, we're going to take a look at my income and also my fixed expenses every month. So we'll start with my main income, which is an AI engineer full-time position. So I'm acting like not an employee. I'm doing this freelance as well, but I have like a full-time freelance contract as an AI engineer where I work with uh, some of the nearest technologies uh, where I make like $10,730 per month. So this is actually like pretty good. Uh, I have that as a full-time job besides all the things that I'm doing on the sideline. Then the next highest income on my list is basically my freelance work. So besides my full-time position, I also do a lot of freelance work, both for computer vision, point clouds, uh, software, and all those different things in general. I make around like $4,500 per month with that. That is varying a bit more. So my full-time AI engineer position is actually like a fixed income, where some of the other ones here, they're a bit more like variable. The third income here that I have is my YouTube. I make around like 441 or like $450 per month. This is actually like a very like variable uh, income. So sometimes it's 400, sometimes it's 500 or 600. Then I have also my online courses. I make around like $1,000 per month from my online courses. So I actually like make um, a, a bit more on my online courses compared to my YouTube. I still like put in most of the work into my YouTube channel. I really enjoy making content for you guys. Then also have my consultations both for individuals that want help with project work, but also have consultations for a company. So that could be like hourly meetings just to figure out, talk about like some of the advantages, disadvantages of things, basically just to guide them and help them on their own specific projects. So also have some promotion and collaborations, both for like collaborations, creating videos to other YouTube channels or like companies. And then also have the promotions on my channel here. I don't really like do too many promotions on my own channel, but like if I do, it will be within computer vision, AI and so on. So it, act, it is actually like helpful and useful for you guys. If you just sum all of that up, like my, my total income per month is around $18,000. So this is a bit on the higher end. I'm based in, in Denmark right now. If we act like just multiply that with 12, it's around like 215, $220,000 per year. So this is a fairly good income, but I also put in a lot of work. It's, it's almost like 60 to 70 hours per week. So you got to put in the work. And then again, you can make a lot act like doing freelance. AI engineers, they also make like on the higher end right now. So this is my income right now. It is scaling like from month to month. So sometimes I make a bit more, sometimes a bit less. Usually it scales over time. At least that it has been for like the last six months to, to 12 months. So yeah, I expect to make a bit more in the future. It will basically just scale because I'm growing my personal brand and so on. Also my online courses, YouTube and so on. I'll keep on act like scaling those and those are not really dependent on the long run on my time spent on it compared to when I do freelance work and consultations. I just get a fixed amount for my hours. So let's jump over to the expensive. So I have some fixed expenses like every month as well. So we'll start with the most expensive expense I have per month. And that is the rent for this apartment. I act like I have a house tour. You guys can check that out if you're interested in it. But it is around like $1,400 per month for rent. I live in a city called Odense in Denmark. There's around like 300,000 people. I act like live in the city center in a townhouse. Um, so this is act like a pretty nice apartment. Uh, there's like a terrace, we have some, some green areas here and there, and it's pretty close to, to the city center. So yeah, I pay around $1,400 for that. Then we have utilities and internet, which is around $300 per, per month. Then also have my car. So I'm actually like driving a Tesla and um, I have the car. I bought it like pretty cheap when they reduced all the prices. So I was really happy with that. So for a car and insurance, it is around like $500 per month, including charging. Then I'm also like going to the gym. I do a lot of sport like tennis, paddle tennis and so on. So that will be around $75 per month. So this is actually like relatively cheap in, um, in Denmark, especially for a gym. I only pay like $20 per month for the gym. So yeah, I'm spending a bit of money on that. And then also have some fixed expenses for just fun going out and so on, which is around like $300. And again, we also need to cover food. So my food expenses is around like uh, $450 per month also include like going to, to cafes, uh, having coffees and so on, takeaway and, and like delivered food and so on. So, so yeah, um, I, I don't really like go too much into details of what I act like spend on, on food. I just tr try to live my life. So yeah, if you just sum up all the expenses I've had, it's, it sums up to around like $3,000 per month. 
So most of the money that I have left every month, I will basically just put those into investments so they can accumulate over time. So they don't just like sit in a bank account being stuck there and being eaten up by inflation. So yeah, I invest my money. The rest I have left every month, I basically just invest that um, into stocks and then they can keep on accumulating. I can have my money work for me while I'm working on all the other things here. So yeah, that's all from this video here. I hope you like these videos where I'm being more transparent with you guys and also just to engage more with you guys. So I'll definitely keep you guys updated with my incomes and expenses if they change over time. So thank you guys for watching this video here. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now.